Hello everyone, I am Vetres and this video is second part of me playing Pyrene beta demo. And this time I'll try to really focus rather than playing fast, I guess. So... I used my locks and I'm missing four if I remember correctly. Three even, okay. Three should be easy. And watchtower is one talent point. Okay. So I'm just guessing I get more if I win. Three biomes. I think just shiny cards are the best. Because you get a good card, it's gonna be overpowered, and you can win easier. Let's go. Continue. Alright. This is pretty good. Right. I don't even need the heal, right? Yeah, I'll rather save the heal. Now, which way do I wanna go? I will probably never go to corner. If I end up here, I wanna end up in corridor after that. So I could go like this, and then this is untouched. I would like to collect the spirit. But I have three slots open. I rather have four slots open than three. So I'll get the coins. Now spend the night. Medicinal herb. Cool. Spirit, kill a unicorn. But don't go to that spot. Kill a Kerbelt. And now health potion is good. Medicinal I will keep. Now I'm at corner. And now I can collect everything if I go at this path. Kind of zigzag snake. Wood. Skeleton. Skeleton. Apple at this time. Pretty good roll I think. Heal, heal. Kill drag. And collect gold. Now I would like to um, spend the night one more time, but I don't have any heal now. All of these combined are what? Four, four, eight, nine. I will bet four HP. That's fine. And this is pretty good because I end up at the votive altar. I can just spend the night and if I cannot do anything, I'll just go to altar right away. I can kill skeleton one time. It's not useful, right? Only after the slot is dead, I get reward. And even if I did get reward, I would not be able to pick it, because then if I move to it, I will be stuck. So I'll go to altar already. And 6 is pretty fine. Equipment. Ludi sword. Deal 2 damage and 2 bleed to all enemies in play. If... This was the other way around, it would be so much cooler, I think. For a rare, yeah. Apply bleed and deal damage, and everything takes 4 damage. Or health potion, or iron helmet. Use 6 shield, inflicts you with incurable. Makes it impossible to heal HP, oh god. Nah. More health potion seems fine. Yeah. But two bleed. Two bleed will stay forever until triggered. 
I don't need enemies to bleed. And bleed is only good if I'm doing small out of damage, like the 2 damage from the sword. I have knife, which is good for that. But eventually I don't think I will use knife, just health potion is good. Holy plant, more max HP, nice. And I've changed my deck. And I would like more apples. Like this. Kill something, heal. Kill, kill, heal, heal. And later get apple to spend the night. I feel like I don't need weapons. Weapons are powerful. But I think with this combo I can spend more nights and kill more things with more health. Now I'm going to corrupt that altar. Okay. Double health, cool. There's Gilotso, okay. I want to end up on corner. I could go around, kill Gilotso and go back to corner. But I spend the heal. Or I just go to corner, but everything gets more HP. I rather over heal than make enemies have more HP. I think, yeah. So, medicinal herb spirit, killing is also heal. Dark Warrior Another Herb Dark Warrior Goblin And Coin Spend Knight Now Apple I am over provisioning But that's what I have to do anyway Now I would like another heal Yeah Here I take 4 damage and I heal, so I'm basically 9 again. Then take 6 damage. Then I will be at corner with 3 HP. Which is pretty dangerous. Actually, yeah. This is just 4 damage. This is 2 damage, I rather get the unicorn down. So I'll go like this, and then I'm locked to go this path back. Okay. Don't do anything really. I think I'll just go to altar. Or I can get spirits. Yeah, let's get, let's go and get some spirits. can go here, heal and kill, and that's it. That's fine, I think. Two HP, dangerous, but should be fine. I don't think I will be able to spend another night. So I'll rather over provision to have more space for altar. There's altar, oh god, <laughs> yeah. I am dead again. Because, yeah, I overhealed at start. Yeah. Maybe I j really just should use weapons. I'll try to use weapons next time. I got one wood, okay. Continue. Use it on the um, cartography and go again. I 
Health potion, single bow. I can end up in corner. But I want to use hunting knife. Okay. Nice. Overheal, I don't want overheal, come on. Now I'll kill this. Now I'm not overhealing too much. I'll kill this. Single bow. And the resurrected skeleton has just one HP. Even when previous one had two. Okay, that's good to know. I'll go here. Heal. Spend night. There is Kizotsu. I just came up with a strategy. I should keep enemies in play. So when votive altar appears, it counts for the reward. If I kill Gizotsu now, I just take damage and I still have to kill one more enemy. So I take even more damage. Yeah, sure he gets 1 HP, but I think on average enemies have 2 HP. So it's better to keep Gizotsu here. To wait for votive altar, so his death will count for reward. Now there's altar. Nice, okay. Your skeleton. Herb. Gizotso, Goblin. Drag. I end up next to altar. I will be 1 HP. I can't do anything, so let's go to altar. Equipment chest. Lord of fire, heal to 2 HP. Infect 2 burn to enemies around you. Oliflant, infect thorns, then pushes them back. What? What? Pushes them back? Well, I then cannot move, right? <laughs> okay. Golden crown. Gives you 10 gold if votive altar is in play. I got golden crown, but it was legendary and it gave me 200 gold of value. But it's still fine. Here's a 2 HP. burn X damage when I spend the night I have to move around so I'll probably kill like two but it's around me so it's eight around keyboard maximum eight okay so I can deal I can apply 7 times 2, 14. 14 damage is Flower of Fire. Huh. That's cool. Yeah, let's go. Let's just get combat power. And lately, I didn't even use gold that much in previous video. What is better? I think hunting knife is better because this can overkill enemy which is kinda bad. I don't feel like I need herb. Now combat. This later. So first flower. Apple last. Heal with hunting knife, heal after that, yeah. Now, oh wait, pick up feather. I get one more single bow, yeah. Move it up. That should be pretty good. 
I follow of life, hunting knife, spend the night, single bow, heal, apple, apple. Cool. Here's flower of fire. There's health. Okay. Now this skeleton has two health, that's interesting. How should I do flower of fire? I should keep those enemies in play and activate flower later, right? Yeah. I'll clear them first. Now spend night. Now there's no enemy, okay. I wanna keep the flower here. It is just good. I am 2 HP. Now I die. And Altar is exactly the most far away from me. I can't do anything again. I should have used Flower and not kill enemies. That's the problem that I'm just killing enemies. Yeah. I died to burn. I got one wood. Am I gonna just get one wood and <laughs> eventually unlock the cartographer? Okay. What if I change my relic? Let's see. Use free reroll. Reroll cards in play. How many times? How many times? Reroll cost increases with each use, but what is the cost? Come on, I I have no idea what is the cost. Maybe coins probably, but it could be something different. Spirit card, health potion, apple, gold, food, reveal unexplored areas, Merchant to all future. Reveals the number of cards left drawn before finding the altar. Makes expedition much easier. When you die, go back to previous zone. I have two lives then. What is better, two lives or what? If I get two lives... Yeah, it's kinda useless because I clear enemies, I get votive altar, then I die and the area is reset. Yeah. This wood seems good. Like a good idea for the meta progression. Heal is good to be able to beat the game. But shiny cards from chest. I like shiny cards. There were some really good ones. I'll still keep it, let's go. Knife. I don't want to bow. Not even right now, but I have two space. I'd rather use it just right now. Okay. I forgot to move, that's fine. Uh, 
Okay. Now there's altar. Six, seven, nine. Okay. I am left with one HP. Equipment. Ice staff. Inflict frost to all enemies in play. Reduce attack exactly to one damage. Ice hammer. Regard again until enemy dies. Throwing knives. Deal one damage and one bleed to random enemy in play. Triggered five times. This is exactly what I wanted. Just a better kitchen knife. Hell yeah. Or hunting knife. Oh come on. <laughs> I'm still. I still don't remember the name. It's hunting knife. Okay. I guess this is good now. Yeah, this is just so good, I think. But I would like throwing knife later, though. Because later. There will be altars. So I want throwing knife later. But at start, I need to kill some enemies, so I need hunting knife. And then I have a bunch of apples. I think this should be pretty good. Endurance, okay. What can I get more of? Just bow, yeah. Bow first, then knife. Alter. So, bow first. I would like to kill Skeleton because his, his HP might scale two times because he has resurrection. Keep Manticore here. Oh, where do I go now? If I go to Goblin, then I need 3 damage on Dark Warrior. If I go to Dark Warrior, I can kill him and I just need 2 damage for Goblin. So yeah, I'll go to Warrior. Knife. Collect all these, let's go. Oh god, this is really bad. I'd rather go to Phoenix. And throw knives. I don't want Gizotso ever. One damage. He hits he needs to be killed two times. That's crazy. I mean not killed but like uh, damage, okay. Alright. Herb hell yeah. And now knives. Nice. A really good RNG right there. Now I will not kill Manticore. I want to get to health. Let's go. Now there should be altar. Nice. And now I should kill enemies. Can I get kitchen knife? I mean, uh, throwing knife back, maybe. Maybe, maybe. But I feel like all of this is too much damage. This is seven. This gives me born. This is nine. So I'll not go to drag. Just kill warrior. Go to shard and spend night. Now I get to kill unicorn and that's it. Or I can use ability. Let's use ability, but if I use ability then I have to move to all shards. 
it's gonna be really tricky. If I kill Unicorn and Gizotso and do lateral shots, but Skeleton is reborn. Yeah, so yeah, it's kinda useless. So I'll just go to Unicorn. Apple Alter. Or spend night again, just to see if I get a heal. Didn't got any, so let's go to Alter. Relic chest. Dice from Burn, no card is given, and I receive 5 spirit. Imagine ability that would burn enemies, that would be insane, right? Fury Stone, Chain Kills, gives you a combo, when it ends you heal. What? <laughs> I heal based on combo? Yes please. Monster Tail, when enemy takes bleed damage, Deal same amount of damage to another random enemy. Oh god. These together would be insane. But mainly I just need heal. But this goes really hard with throwing knives. Chain kills gives you a combo. Chain kills, what is chain kills? For example, reborn. It's passive healing. Imagine a relic that would heal me additional 2 when I heal. With this I can kill more enemies. And do a bleed build. Chain kills. What is chain kill? Come on, tell me what is chain kill. Only one copy. I'll take monster trail because I could go for blade build and this just go nuts. And then I just don't need any heal. I think there might be better ways to heal. And I don't understand how chain works, so I'll rather get the thing I know about, which is bleed. Next biome. Okay. Gold coin. This altar and merchant. Merchant. Cold diamond. When you receive gold, also inflict one frost to random enemy in play. What is this? Relic? Is this a relic? I guess so. That's pretty cool. When enemy receives thorns, also inflict poison. Cool. Extra of protection. Double all my shield gain. That's a relic. Oh god, nice. Golden belt. After you dodge, you receive as many gold as damage dodged. I don't really have that. I don't have much gold. If I reroll, I cannot buy like anything with 4 gold. So let's go further to Urg's altar. 16. Okay. I might just try to keep my spirits. Now danger zone, danger zone. Let's go here. Single bow. I would like if it's triggered on Gizotso, it will be really great. I have to kill Kaku Demon and go to single bow. But then this gets more health and even more health. Oh god. 
So I have to kill it as fast as possible. Now, wood and hunting knife. Yeah. Cool. Now, silver. And the knight. Health potion. Cool. But I'd like wood. If I get wood, enemy has more health. But next time, I'm gonna get throwing knives. I could medicinal herb. On what? Nothing really, right? Let's just go here. Now there's Knurmy Knives, hell yeah. Okay, how am I gonna do this? I'm gonna chain a bunch of damage. But this one's gonna probably never die. I don't want to use lateral shots. And this is gonna give me... A relic or item. If it gives me a relic, I would like it to be increased as much as possible, so then I would use... Lateral shots. But I just wanna see what the altar does, so I keep my spirit. Now, do I want to kill something beforehand? Yeah. Now, throw me knives. Cool. Alright. But I still die, right? Huh. What I need is heal immediately after the last card in my deck. If I get heal first, it is probably gonna spawn anyway. But if but if at the end I don't have much space, I will get heal. And that's what I want. Let's get this. Okay. I just have to go to s straight to the altar. Relic, oh god. I would like a better relic. Double thorns inflicted? No. Merchant to all future biome. Add two fireball cards. Inflict three burn to three random enemies. No, I'll reroll. Legendary. Add two whip card to danger zone. Whip. Inflict four thorns to two random enemies in play. Then swap their position. Cool. Ember of when enemy takes burn damage, you receive as many shields. That's crazy. Book of Greed, add two gold coin cards. Okay. I don't have any burn. But, wait. I don't have burn right here. Yeah. I'll get a whip. It just seems good. Good damage. Holy feather. And now... Cleared zone. Danger zone. This corrupted altar, okay. So I want to heal first. After I throw knives. Medicinal herb. Probably around the end, right? Or here, and apple very last, and then knives. I might want to throw knives first, maybe? Let's go throw knives first. No, second. Heal, throw knives. Go through a bunch of knights, and then heal first and throw knives again. 
What is better? At the end to heal or throw knives? I think throw knives. So this at start feels good, I think. And then hunting knife. So when enemy still lives and has bleed, I can trigger it with knife. Single bob later. First herb, because I probably get some debuff. After that, enemy will be stronger probably, so I'll single bow, then bunch of apple for spending the night. Let's go. Okay, yeah, Gizatsu. I'll throw knives. Okay, cool. Whip. Two random enemies. Oh god, I want to keep it. So I'll just heal. Kill enemy. I have more space, yeah. <laughs> now whip. I want to get most use of whip, and but I cannot do it. I have to use knife, it's fine. Keep herb here. Okay. Single bow. Spend night. Now I'm getting apple and there's two enemies, so let's whip them. Nice. And now wood and there's no enemy. Nice. Very good. Now there's altar and I have whip. I'll rather keep the whip here. I need apple. I move just once, that's such a waste. Then I have to use whip. Okay, I'll do. Or I can just go here. Spend night, take 5 damage, then kill something. There's probably gonna be enemy, whip them. Take 5 damage, come on. Let's see. Okay, 4. Now I can whip. Apple. And uh, I don't want to kill Troll yet. Go to Shard and stay here. And I don't see Knife, come on. I need one more Spirit actually, <laughs> oh no. Wait, do I die if I go to Altar? If, Ga if Gaku Demon is looking there, no way. Let's see. Okay, it didn't. Damn. <laughs> I was scared for a second. Single bow 10. Oh, so shiny are just more value. Cool, okay. Wind potion, swap position of two random cards in play, trigger T times. Swapping positions. That seems fine. But then I'm, my deck is just uh, needs to be really long, so I can use Wind Potion. This single bow would be good against boss or something. I'll just get it. Or Wind Potion, come on. I'll get single bow. Okay, so against this single bow, get apple. All right. Now holy leaf, more luck. Oh god, I should have gone luck and then chest. Okay. Let's go to corrupted altar. 
throwing knife right away and then hunting knife. Amazing. I love this. I want to kill demon and then heal. And then I kill another one. And now I end up at the corner, hell yeah. Single bow, six health, okay. But there is also whip. I'll keep single bow here. I'll do whip. Kill Lamina now and then wood. And go to corner. Nice. Okay. Oh god, this is 6 damage. I want to kill them with my ability. So I'll go to troll. But I have herb. But I take damage. Huh. If I go to Apple and the bow, I kill Lamina. I go here. I take one damage because I move then. And uh, cleanse it. So I don't... I take four damage. And then I take six. I cannot heal. I have to use ability. So I'll go down, single bow, herb, and a lateral shot. Yeah. So, both of them dropped herb. What the hell? <laughs> Wait, is that like a mechanic? That they might almost always drop herb? If yes, that's really useful info. I, sh I didn't need to use my ability there. But well, let's go to the corner. Now there's whip. Here I take inevitable damage. I take 3 and 4. That's 7, I am 3 HP. I go to the middle and whip. Or use my shots. It's pretty bad spot. Best spot is right here to use because I damage four enemies and just kill plant. Nice. Now I wanna go up, kill, kill, down and whip them. Yeah. Let's go. Here, kill troll. Cocoon demon. Yeah. Go here, here, here. But I die if I don't heal. Oh god. Okay, so I have to go to Alter already. But 6 is fine. Holy plant, don't need it. Let's go chest. Chaotic ornament. The cards on which you can move are chosen at random. I don't understand. Cards on which I can move are chosen at random. Like what? <laughs> I don't get it, come on. This needs to be explained. Golden Chalice gives plus 3 to enemy loot cards. Really great. Spiked Acorn Wood cards also inflict thorns to all enemies. But it's just one thorn. I have to move them anyway, so it's kinda bad. I'll get Golden Chalice, that might be amazing. 
Nice. Now go back. I still cannot use it. I'll go here. What can I buy with 21? I can buy golden belt. I don't have any dodge. So I'll go out of this. Go next. Do I want to change my deck? No. This is pretty fine. Let's go to mountain. Next biome. So now here cards fall. Oh! I forgot. If I use the acorn relic, enemies would move by falling. Oh my god. Okay. Zoe. Zoe, it's you. Cree, cree, cree. Cree, Akko. Okay. I think this is the same voice line. I mean, text for the lore. I already read it. Alright. Throwing knives. There's no enemy. There's so much whip. What the hell? It is insanely bad spot. <laughs> but well, I can use one whip. Oh! I, I just forget that it is still steep slopes. So then... I can go here. Nice. Spend night and I have four spaces left. Now throwing knives. Yeah. Root? Oh, come on. I have to whip. Move. Kill stone golem. Don't throw knives. I want to root later. Herb. Revenge. But there's no passage. That's cool. I can use knives right away. That should be good. Very nice. Whip. I don't want to whip. I want to collect those herbs. But it's so much healing. I want to keep them. I'll kill Basender. Go to gold. And the gold is increased. When enemy gives me gold, it's insanely powerful. I love this relic. Golden chalice. Amazing. Spend night. Now I whip. Keep single bow. Heal a bunch. Yeah, now I am full HP. I would like to get gold. And spend night. I don't really need provision. I just have so much healing from all this. Most HP is not gonna target Golem. <laughs> okay. But I want to kill Gizotso. So I want to kill Goblin. I don't think that's possible. I have to root. I have to go up, single bow, kill Gizotso, kill Golem, and heal. Okay. Cool. Nice. Now heal a bunch. Nice. Now there's revenge if Bassender. Bassender, there's no Bassender. Cool. I would like to kill... To deal damage to them. This... This 13 damage, I rather decrease it. So let's go. Now this is much better outcome. 
No way. No way. Voltage shard is increased. This relic should be legendary. What the hell? One kill is basically four kills worth worth of votive shard. That relic is amazing. I did. I think that one needs some balancing. That's crazy. I can get insane reward for sure. Okay. Okay, now I'm dangerously close to that. I cannot go here because I die. I cannot kill Stone Golem. I have to fight him two times. I can exactly, hell yeah. Now votive altar is 17 worth of value. So I'm expecting legendary. Get endurance and legendary. Okay, wheat. Use three provisions. Excess is dealt as damage. Ring of Albelio gives five dodge and then attacks random five random enemy cards. What? I attack five cards for free? No. No, 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 I just trigger attack for both sides. But that is fine, actually. That is actually insane, because when I move, dodge is decreased, but when I just trigger attack, I don't move and it's not decreased. That's amazing. I will probably get that one. Poet, as long as this card is in play, gives plus one to provision gold and spirit. That's too low, I think. In early game, this is cool. But right now, I think I am very powerful. I'll get a ring of Abelio. Or I could reroll, but I think ring is amazing. This is possibly kill five enemies. Amazing. I really want that one. But where? Oh. Okay, where do I want that one? Possibly last, right? I throw knives, I heal, I kitchen knife. Or I'll go like this. Throw knives, hunt knives. Spend night. Get status, cleanse it, kill highest health enemy. Get provision, provision, kill five enemies and heal. What if I heal first? Mm, that's kinda bad. So I'll get heal last. That seems good. Let's go, okay, I can go... I can go to side. Okay, nice. So that's the secret location. Alright. So again, throw knives. Hunting knife. Nice. It triggered the most of bleed. I love that. This is revenge. Bassender, this Becute, okay. I want to call it coins. If I move here, Passagen falls down. So I'll go here. A lot of coins, oh my god. Single bow. Medicinal herb. I want to cleanse Gizotso. But if I just go there, I kill him already. I wanna kill Basajan, so I'll go to single bow anyway. And 
now probably just the root and the whip later. Yeah. I'll go to Apple. Griffin. Go down and kill Big Cute. And I turn both Gizotsos. Nice. Cool. Five enemies. I would like five enemies. Or go to ring glass, so next turn I have some dodge. But I feel like I cannot kill anyone right now. So I'll just use it. Nice. Wait, what? It didn't decrease. No way. It's actually that I am just attacking. Wait. I have 10 health. Did I just take damage? Wait, what? <laughs> I feel like I took damage maybe? That's weird. Okay, how can I go about this? I'll go up and down, yeah. Cool. Now there's altar and whip. Health potion later. Whip now. And this is Basender. If Basajun. This is Basajun. But this is Basender. <laughs> okay. Oh god. <laughs> I'll, if I kill this one, both of these get more health. If I kill both of these, this one gets more health. It's kind of the same thing, right? I want to heal. This will be 8 damage. This is 5. 5 and 8 is not enough to kill me. Let's go. Yeah, it's not enough to kill me. Oh, he fall down. Oh, come on. <laughs> Forgot about that. But now I cannot go to altar. Oh, God. I need to get a really good reward, please. No, I always gain shard. Oh, come on. I was so close. Ascender is actually insane. Yeah. But I got 12 wood, which is pretty good. 39 score. Let's go to the village. And now I get... New relic unlocked. Enhancement ring gives plus 2 to spirit cards. It's a relic, right? What is this? This fast kind of button. Continue. One of the four, okay. Antique necklace gives plus four to votive shards. Oh my god. Imagine I had that in my combo of relics. Okay, amazing. I will probably change my relic to this one for sure. Saber. After attacking, deal 1 damage to all enemies in play. Imagine if there is a relic that deals damage to everything if I attack. I mean bleed. If I attack, deal bleed to everything. And then Saber. <laughs> that would be insane. Scale Stone. After you attack enemy, inflict 5 turns to card around you. But then I have to move them, but 5 turns is pretty cool. Nice. Alright. Workshop. Workshop rebuild. New rules. Dangerous zones now have various rules. Rules. Some dangerous zones will have rules that alter the classic gameplay. Click on a rule to deactivate it. It will no longer appear during your expedition. 
Oh. Enemies have minus one HP, but gain three HP when I spend the night. That's amazing. I love this. I absolutely love this. No status can be applied. Why do I want that? Applied. Oh. So enemies cannot do status, but I cannot do status too. Now that's interesting, I guess. Okay. Status won't exist. I need to deal pure damage. I really like the throwing lives, so I need the status. When enemy has status, there are more enemies than I can apply status. I'll keep status. Status is pretty fine. Burning wounds. All burn damage is inflicted as soon as status is applied. What happens? Oh! I see now how this works. This kind of double-sided knife. If I inflict burn to enemies, they die, might as well die instantly. But they also can inflict burn to me. I'll, I'll take it, it's, it's good. Exhaustion gives plus one to equipment cards and plus one to enemies. Oh, wow. Equipment cards. What is equipment card? Any card? It's... huh. When I have equipment chest... I think I found also a food. Huh. I don't want enemies to have more HP. Enemies have minus 1 HP and sentinel passive effect. Attacks in observed direction. Huh. All enemies have sentinel. That, that, that can be really dangerous, I don't want that. Upgrade level 2, what? <laughs> That's so cool, nice. Okay. Guardians, okay. Um. Unveil potential. Special power cost one provision. Wow. Huh. But I spend provision if I spend night. But this is pretty amazing. Huh. I'll try that. I haven't really used provision in the last run. So if I get apple, I can use my special power. That feels amazing. When status is applied, it double its value. <laughs> oh my god. Burning wound, radiant inspiration. Oh my god. Am I gonna do burn? Probably, maybe. But all enemies will double status on me. That can kill me really easily. Double its value, <laughs> oh my god. What if I give enemy status? I'll keep it, that's interesting. But burn? I spend the night, enemy takes more damage. But if I spend night... If enemy would give too much burn to me, I have to heal. So after burn is done, then I can heal myself. But with this I cannot. I need a really insane burn build. 
I could probably activate it. Let's keep it. Blood Moon. Can I kill every enemy every time? Probably. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm going for. No status can be applied. <laughs> no. I want to do status. When enemy dies, you receive one skull. You spend the night with skulls rather than provisions. Skulls are temporary. That is amazing. But it is resource. Um, I am hoping that it doesn't go as a card, as a reward. I'm, I'm, I think it's just like a resource. It, it just isn't a card. So night death is amazing with unveiled potential. Yeah. I eat apple, I'm so strong, I use my ability. <laughs> Makes sense. More to equipment cards. Yeah, sure. So enemy doesn't have any more HP. But I have more plus onto equipment. But enemies have more health when I spend night. So I don't want to spend night. If I apply burn, I have to spend the night. I don't want to do that, so I'll rather apply it as soon as it is inflicted. Nice, I see. I can see how this comes together really nicely. Enemies have sentinel. Sentinel can really screw me up, so I don't want that. Imagine sentinel phoenix. He doubles boon to me and uh, might as well kill me if I just move. I want to move the good weapon, like the Knobby throwing knives. So I don't want guardians. I think there is a good build right there. Upgrade. Okay, what is the other tavern? I can... S I can choose who is going to expedition. I guess the guy I'm looking for, I can unlock as playable character. Yeah, I might, I might work for that. Let's go. Let's go. Now watchtower. Did I get anything else? Special power moves votive altar in plane next to you. Oh! It just goes instantly to me. Cool. Cool, but it could lock me out. In some cases, yeah. So I'm applying more status. Huh. I would like apple, maybe. Reveal unexplored area, add secret zone to all biomes. Okay, um... Or... Real cause spirit. I want spirit for the altar kind of transaction. Like, like a shop or something it is, I think. Get shiny cards. Yeah, just get shiny cards. I just like shiny cards. It's shiny, right? Okay. Grasslands. Continue. Now I can change my deck right away. I want more apples. Oh, wait. Wait. The... The rules I got... It might be actually bad, the skulls rule. Because eventually I have to kill so many enemies. I will start taking damage. 
But it's not so bad, yeah, it's not that bad. And the skulls can be infinite count, I guess. If skulls can be infinite count, that is amazing. So, deck. I need apple. Don't really need Glyph, right? Enemies have less HP, so don't need bow. Get apple so I can use uh, my ability later. And this feels amazing. Let's go. From now on, Danger Zone will sometimes have additional passive rule. The rules modify certain aspects of the basic game. It's up to you to adapt your game accordingly. Remember to pay attention to active rules when entering Danger Zone. It is just one rule. Come on. Then I should have gotten just one rule. This is crucial information, come on. I think that tutorial should be before I play with the rules, come on. Because I could just set like one or two rules and that would make my run somewhat easier. Okay, hunting knife. I still spend the night with provision. Oh, come on. Okay. I have to move through this. Keep a drag. Or have altar sooner. I'd rather keep drag. I can heal. I could have killed him. But I would be 1 HP less. 2 HP less. Okay. Herb, cool. Gizotsu. Go like this. And now I will probably have altar. Please show me altar. Yeah. Wait, so if I spend night, they get 4 HP, I take 8 damage. But I get 2 shards. If I kill Drek right now, I will take 4 damage and have 1 less shard. So do I want to convert 4 HP into 1 shard? Probably, yeah just to have more space. I said that I want to convert it and I did the exact opposite. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I spend the night. Okay. Kill drag as fast as possible. Get wood. And just go around. And see what I get. Huh. Yeah, I have to just go back. Let's go. Equipment, this is max HP. I'll go with equipment first. So, equipment. Okay. Inflict two turns to cart around you, then push them back. Fireball. Inflict four boon to four random enemy. Oh, four boon to four enemies. That's crazy. I have to spend the night. Imagine if I get the rule when enemy gets 3 HP. I wonder what happens first. Burn or health gain? I think burn happens because I already seen it happen before, yeah. Poisonous Firefly. As long as this card is in play after each of your moves, Inflict one poison to enemies in play. How does enemy how does poison work for enemies? I have to move. Yeah, each time I move, yeah. 
Wait, does it trigger itself? If I move, I inflict. And I have to move again to deal the damage. And that applies another poison, and then I have to move again. So I have to move three times to activate two poison. So it's just a delay from start, and then it just keeps going. But one poison, come on. It could get, give me... I could reach... Achievement faster to unlock relic. But fireball just seems crazy, come on. Yeah. I will hope to not get the rule I set that gives three health to enemies. Holy plant. Is there something? No. Now corrupted altar. I could change my deck, come on. Oh man, okay. There is no rule, okay. I would like to not to knife. I would like to kill Gizotso with knife. Kill Phoenix and go to her. So I'll go like this. Heal. Is this too much damage? Not really. This heal is too much. There's herb even. So I want to take damage first. Knife could just help me. So let's go around. Okay, cool. So one burn less. There's Scratch. Gizatsu. But I can heal it, right? I take 2 damage, it's basically 4. I take 5. I heal 4, I'll be just 1 HP less. That's fine. And if I leave enemy... If I leave Gizatsu alive, he's gonna scale his bleed. I don't want that. Let's go here. Herb and herb, lovely. Nice, I am max HP, no. But still, good amount. There's altar already. After first night, that's crazy. Now I don't want another apple. I probably just go here. But skeleton will scale insanely. I don't want that. So I'll go down. Spend night. There's enemy. Now what can I do? Just move around. I could spend another night for nothing. <laughs> so I'll go to Apple. Now, if I go around, I will not be able to kill Warrior. I don't have enough spirits. So I'll just kill Manticore. And now I just need to go to Altar. Okay. Can I kill? Phoenix, no. Just go to Unicorn. And that's it. Nice. Relic. Apple, Max Provision. I'll go to Relic first. Alright. When enemy with Frost dies, transfer its Frost to another enemy. How about frost build? That seems insane. Oak, bark. Plus two to wood cards. Wood cards also give gold. <laughs> okay. Imagine both of these. That's cool synergy, but I cannot pick both of them. 
I'll get frozen plant. It's pretty cool. And if I get hammer, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, hammer? Ice hammer with that is amazing. Let's go to dark forest. Next biome. Continue. All right. Hunting knife. I want to kill plant. So I want to kill these enemies first and then plant. But I have herb here. I have to go to knife last, but also kill demon. I can just kill him from side. That's cool. But if I move down... Huh. Keep herbs heal here. It's just one heal. Do I want to get more cards or heal one and remove effect? I'll just go there. Attack from side. Now I can heal and go for hunting knife. Or I can go for wood but enemy will scale and I cannot do knife. And knife will not target it then. Okay, so just go for knife and spend night. Enemy dropped herb again. What is this? Come on. Okay. Provision. I don't want any apple. It is too much if I pick up wood. I need apples, so I'll do this. Root. Okay. Go here. And spend night and I have my ability. Now there's altar. If I kill demon and Gizotso, I can then herb from bleed. Okay. I need to heal. Or I can just do lateral shot. Yeah, that's good. Lateral shot. Don't need another apple. Kill demon. And go around. And I'm next to altar. Nice. Now... This poison, this will kill me, but I can kill demon. Let's go. Okay. A relic chest, max HP, let's go to relic. An enemy reaches thorns, also inflict poison. Same amount, if same amount, that's crazy. Healing ring. Spirit cards also heal my HP. Now that I really like. Spirit cards inflict burn to all enemies. Wow, okay. But I think healing will be much better. Imagine if I get the relic again where enemy has higher value on reward after killing it. So I have more spirits and I heal more. I rather heal more and get more spirits than inflict burn by spirits. Yeah. If I'm getting spirits, I'm probably killing enemies. So there is still less and less enemies, so burn is not that good. So yeah, healing ring is cool. Holy plant. Now altar and merchant. I have 6 gold, I am pretty sure I cannot do anything in Merchant. And I need 16 spirits. This is spirits, cool. 5 of them. Nice. There is a secret room. Nice, cool. Now... I want to go to this combat. 
I would like to knife plant again. I have to go to herb, demon, heal, demon corrupted, demon, Iraxo, and to knife. I cannot go everywhere. If I go down, I could do it, yeah. Let's go. Spirit heals me. Hell yeah. Nice. This is fine. I can just kill from side. Move around. Knife. Nice. I love this. Ah. Huh. I can kill Gizotso and uh, cleanse it. I don't want apples, so I'll go here. I like to keep herb. Herb is cool. Let's kill troll. Or just pick up Revart so I have more space. Yeah. No, I like this here. Herb is just good. Root. Okay, so I'll play it. I'll go around. Heal more. Corrupt. Kill Gizotso. Go to Herb. Spend Knight. Now I want to kill a plant. It will probably give me... Um... Heal. But if I go to heal, then I have to move here and to the middle and then play shots. I want to play shots right now because I can kill three enemies, which is amazing. I don't want to keep plant here. So I'll go down. Kill a plant, pick up the herb, and go back up. Hell yeah. It's not herb because of altar. Okay, my bad. <laughs> okay. Alright, this is too much apples, but it's fine. I spend the night, go to apple. Deal damage, kill enemies, take damage. Is it good for apple... I think it is. Yeah. Because there could be enemy. Exactly what I wanted. There is enemy. And I can kill it more. Now what do I want to kill? Demon or... Iraxto? There's the question. If I kill these... I go around... I take 7 damage and then I die. I have to open my path to altar. So I'll go to just apple and I'll kill everyone. Now kill these. And now I want to move. I don't want to go to demon. But then... If I go to shard, spend night, I have to heal. And then I have to move to altar if I'm about to die, but he's gonna kill me. So I'll rather go... To kill him already. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. Spend night. Now I can kill Kizotsu. Yeah, let's go.
Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry, I was, uh, I was doing something. Okay. Equipment chest. Old apple. Forest chest. Okay. Blue scroll. Spend night for free. Inflict frost to drown enemies. I love that. Poison ball. Two poison to two random enemies. I think blue scroll is amazing. Yeah. It is just amazing. Confirm. Does frost decrease when I move? I wonder how frost decreases. Decrease when I move, okay. I mean, if I draw enemies around me, that would be amazing. Yeah. Okay, I want fireball. Fireball is amazing. Better than knife. I don't need herb, I want just apple. I want scroll, I need less apple. Health potion is good. But when I can kill more enemies, I need more apples. So I'll get rid of hunting knife. Now when I do fireball, probably on second turn. Apple late. Blue scroll very lately. And this should be good. Alright. Old apple. Now, merchant. I have 15. Book of Nature. Sigil of Fate. When enemy reaches frost, also inflict poison. Amazing. Oh! I inflict frost and poison, so if I move and I cannot kill them, they receive poison. So enemy gets less frost, but I do poison at least. That's really cool. I might pick that up later. Now I go to both of Alter Corrupted. So Herb, there's five ball. Four enemies, there is four enemies, hell yeah. I would waste heal. I don't want to waste heal. Let's go here. This is good. I would like to keep fireball. Yeah. Kill troll already. No, he has too much damage. Health. So I will let troll scale and lately I will do frost and kill him hopefully that would be amazing so go to goblin and wood and later i will fireball on irat show okay now i would like fireball yeah they have too much health, I want to use Fireball. Okay. Pretty good Fireball, I must say. But he's scaling again. But this is amazing. Can I cleanse Gizotsu Scratch? I feel like I can't. And then I'm getting blue scroll for sure. I would like to get scroll next to troll. Applies it to what? Everyone. To drown enemies. Oh man. It happens on drown enemies, not to troll. He's already there. Oh god. Okay. I need a way to kill Gizotso. Can I kill him with fireball? 
If I draw fireball again, uh, that's pretty rare. I'm gonna wait for her, probably. But this basically double damage if I keep him scale. I kill him now. Now, kill Lamina. Get wood. Heal with spirit. I have my attack. Spend the night. Now I have herbs and blue scroll. Blue scroll is pretty good. That's pretty cool. Amazing, actually. Let's go. Oh, wait. It happens after... So I took full damage, come on. And I was thinking I would frost the Lamina, come on. I still think that it, I can apply frost to existing enemy. Oh god. I can kill demon. And just take one damage, which is amazing. And then I want to shots on plant. And I heal with spirit. I want to kill a unicorn, but the reward I will probably never be able to get to. Yeah. So I'll just go here. Do ability. Or I could just go to altar. Getting two more power seems good. And this last, um, this very last combat in this biome. So I'm not gonna be able to use my spirit in uh, altar anyway. So I should use everything right now. Kill this guy. And now where do I go? Probably just here. Enemy appears. I will probably kill it. Go to shard and go back. Yeah. Alright. Well... We'll see. This poison, come on. I could kill it and go to altar for what? Nothing. Yeah, that's bad. I'll just go to altar. Holy apple, later. Get a relic. Reroll cards. <laughs> Double all frost, that's amazing. I can move on empty space using provision. Feather is amazing. I can move on empty space. That is just amazing. It is amazing. But I need provision for it. And every time I spend... And I just spend all my provision. So I possibly in mid game I can move to empty space. Is it that much needed? I'll just double all frost. I think that's much better. Now apple, wood. And I probably can use my coins. On merchant. Yeah, 16, I don't have enough. I have. I would have 12. Merchant is here. Now, when enemy dies from burn. No loot is given and I receive 5 spirit. I can heal from spirit. Oh. If I burn enemies, I heal. And I have burn, that's amazing. Okay, I might get that. When enemy receives frost, also inflict poison. So if enemy gets frost and it's too far away, it at least takes damage. 
Okay. What is better? When I, when enemy is frost. I think spirit is amazing. Instead of getting loot, normal loot, it can also disable altar, but it's fine, I rather heal, right? Yeah, it is just a little good. And anyway, the loot is not that good as five spirits. Is any randoms any random loot worse than five spirits? I think yes. So I'll get that. Now can I change my deck? Probably not. Yeah, this is just fine. Yeah. Alright, I can go to mountain. Next time. Alright. There's a Zoe. Alright, I seen this text already. This is what free? Danger zone, okay. Up here is merchant. Feather. I will probably pick feather. Reduces by two spirits. The cost of your special power. Cool. Yeah, and I gain a lot of spirits if I burn enemies. When enemy takes burn damage, I receive one dodge. <laughs> okay. It's amazing. But 42 gold. Yeah, I think it is really worth it. But let's fight. This is altar. I don't have enough spirit. I'll go to danger zone. Okay. I can burn four enemies already. But they need to die. These enemies cannot die from burn. But I have unreal potential. My power cost provision. Okay. I want to deal damage to both of these. I will move to fireball and use my lateral shot. But this one will die. But for free, which is good. And this one will just be here. He will not die, so I can kill only two enemies. But that's fine. That is completely fine. Let's go here. I could just kill Goblin, get Revard, yeah. I'll rather apply Fireball anyway. He falls down, okay. I need to use a lot of shots so I get more spirits. And now... What if I go here? If I go up... I can then kill the golem and go around, yeah. Let's go like that. Spend night. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? Where is my loot? Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Where is it? I receive! Oh! It's not gonna drop, but I read see. Well, that's even better, right? But if I had modification that I have more spirits, this is always gonna give me five. Okay, that's kind of not a synergy. No matter how I increase spirits in battle, Burn Tail will always give me five spirits. It's kind of sad. I would like it if it will be increased by modifiers to spirit. Okay. A lot of apples and I have a lateral shot. Cost in provision 2. Wait. It shows me one apple in provision, but in description it says 2. Come on. Okay. 
can just... Huh. He gets if bus engine. There is no bus engine. Yeah, okay. So I'll kill Golem right away. Now... Go to root, use ability. Kill bus ender. I would like some apple. Go to gold. Wood. Spirit. Apple. And stay here. Or I can just kill one enemy, no. It is now three provision, okay. Spend night. And now I can use it again. I can go here and kill enemies. I also blue scroll. Oh, I have an idea. I'll kill Kizotso. But I cannot go back, oh god. So... I would have to go Apple, Gizotso, Griffin. I take 8 and 3. That's 12. But I heal at least, and also heal. If I go here, I will use my ability. Go down and blue scroll. Yeah. Okay. Or I can just ignore Gizonzo. He's insanely powerful, I think. But if I use my ability, then I take damage from Knight. Do I rather take 3 damage from Knight or 12 damage? Yeah, that's the thing, right? But the root heals me a bunch anyway. Let's go. Okay, oh, it fall down. That's good though. Spirit fall down. That's good because I have path to root. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Use ability. Now, stone golem. Yeah, I might as well kill him. Now call it coins. And blue scroll. Spend night for free. Does night increase? No. It increases provisions only after I use it. But I'm kinda using it now. But I'm using it for free, I'm still using it. Okay, it's now 3 provision. Now it is 3 always, nice, that's amazing. Now all of these enemies have frost, which is crazy. Oh, when I attack, the frost is decreased. But when I kill enemy, I transfer frost, right? I have a relic, right? Elixir of frost? Do I transfer? Yeah, frozen plant. When enemy with frost dies, transfer frost to other. That's insane. I kill Basajon. I transfer one frost, but it is two frost to someone. He will probably get it. If he gets uh, it, if he gets two frost, he will get three frost, but it is decreased if I move. So it's two frost anyway. If I kill him, I get four frost to someone. Okay, this combo is insane. Actually insane. Okay. He has now six frost. So I can do some stuff now. I would like to use ability. Then I take four damage though. Oh yeah, I don't want to use ability. I want to kill this goblin. Okay. If I could move with using provision, that would be crazy because in this scenario, I move the goblin, I take one damage. It transfers to someone else. Imagine if it transferred to Griffin, I have to move toward him and I will probably not have space to do it in other times. 
so I would use provision to move and kill, transfer frost again and move and kill, move and kill. That would be crazy. That's exactly what I will do right now. But do I want to get rewards? Yeah. I will never want to move toward Goblin, maybe. I'm gonna transfer it, so I will move, probably, to one of these, okay. And then I will kill Basajun, it will transfer again, then I move to Bird, and that's it, okay. Okay, let's go. To Goblin. Now he has 10 Frost. Okay, this is crazy. <laughs> this kind of similar thing. This effect is kind of similar uh, in a game called Legend of Frontera. It's kind of effect where I my ally dies, I transfer its power. And in one instance I got double that relic. So I transferred twice the power. So I was basically doubling power infinitely. It was incremental scaling. And this frost is exactly like that. Let's kill Kizotsu. I got just one bleed, which is amazing. But this one got frost. I want to move toward him. If I use a shot, then I die tonight. I use shot, deal 4 damage. He has... 4 health. I will take 2 damage, I will be 1 health. Which is not good against Griffin. I need to heal somehow. Let's go to Spirit. But then I will use provision and then I don't have... Then I cannot use shots, okay. I think I have to leave uh, right here. Or spend night and get something good here. What could I get? Fireball or scroll. It could be also something bad. If I get locked in here... Yeah, I don't want to get locked in here. So I'll use ability, it's for provision. Can I use it? No. I might die here. I'll go to spirit to get some health. Spend night. I am 2 HP. And I have exact path to alter. But I can also use the frost. Nice. And enemies fall, so I can uh, trigger frost better, kind of. Hell yeah. Wait. Oh, because I don't have health. So after this, I am on one health. Okay. Alright. Now this has 26. <laughs> I love this. Okay. I cannot spend the night. I have to go to altar already. Let's go. Holy plant later. Let's go to relic. Enemies appear with two burn. Oh, come on. <laughs> but when they appear, I have to spend night instead of killing them. But when they appear, I'll probably use a scroll. So I want to kill them with frost. What if a very healthy enemy appears and I don't have much health? That might be good actually. That's a good possibility. Okay. What's next? Access provision is converted to gold. I'm not getting access anytime soon. After I dodge, generate wooden shield card. Okay, that's amazing. Gives three shield. That is amazing. I don't have dodge, that is. I'll get Vial of Fire. Imagine if I will apply more burn 
it'll be insane. Or I reroll. When enemy appears, it gets two burn. I have to spend the night. What if there will be two health Gizotsu? There will probably never be Gizotsu like that. So I'll reroll. By I use gold. I seen a really good relic in merchant. The one where I move using provision. So I'll rather use file of fire. That's good because if there appears an enemy which I don't want to kill yet, it will take two damage. Yeah, that's that's really good. Hell yeah. Amazing. Now holy plant is merchant. I seen this one right. So how much do I need? 21. Okay. Raul Topus. Wait, oh my god. I should have gone for the shield relic. Wait. I would get Topaz. Enemy would get burn from my cards. I get dodge. When I receive dodge, I generate buckle shield. I get shield, I don't die. Okay. But mainly I need feather. Because my frost build is already going. All I need is to, to apply one frost. Okay. I'll go to merchant later for sure. Alter, I can use Alter. No. Why does it have higher cost? If I have more than 16, it has higher cost? That's interesting. Okay, I'll get back to here later. Mamaru, a small winged creature. Mamorak are said to come to their friend's rescue when they need it most. Rescue me. Give plus one to select that card. I would like to do it later because I might get better card, right? Plus one to fireball would be crazy. Or blue scroll. I inflict more frost. I want that. Yes, please. Okay. I'll use it right now. But I have to use a 21 gold. Come on. That's not good. 21 gold for one value, come on. I would love if this was for free. Come on, for free. It'll be just good. It is here for rescue. So it better help me for free, <laughs> right? If it has to have cost, I don't think it should be 21. It's really high. I think it should be at least like 10, 5 or less. 21 is too much for one value. So how would I want it to be? If it has to be 21, it needs to have more value. How much value? I would say 3 or 4. About that. Yeah. So I'll get to here later maybe. Maybe maybe. Because I want to get merchant but also plus one. We will see how this would work. Now I want to kill enemies with fire. Oh oh my god. This build is amazing. I do a firewall and enemies die. A lot of them die. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. But wait. If I use my attack, Passender will probably die. Because if I do fireball, he might not get the burn. I would like Passender to die and give me spirits. So I have to use lateral shot. 
I am using one provisioner to get five spirits, and that is really good. All right. Or I will move, uh, use shots, kill this one, which is kind of sad. But this one will take damage. This one will take damage. This one is dead. Then I fire a ball. Four enemies for sure. I heal, kind of wasted. I go to wood, kill a griffin, heal, and use ability. Oh, come on. <laughs> I forgot. Courts fall. Okay. I totally forgot about that. If I move here and deal 4 damage and spend the night... These two only will die. I need more enemies to die. So I'll go heal and fireball. Alright. Cool. What if I move up and do shots? If I move up and do shots, this golem will die, but Griffin will be wasted from spirits. Just stay here. Yeah. They die and get replaced by cards. I'm at the corner, which is good. Let's go. I have 35 spirits. Okay, I think I can go to altar now. <laughs> okay. All right. So much provisions in here. I'll go here. Use my attack. Or not. I like to use it so I can burn again. What is this? Special power cost provision. Amazing. I will let this guy burn. And I want to kill Bikut and then root later. Keep Apple here, it's good provision. He falls down. Doesn't matter. Not really. I'll kill Bikut. I can heal. Heal 3 HP, yeah, sure, and be at the gold coin. Spend night. Really good. I would much rather use spirits. Wait, I think there is upgrade to use spirits. No. No, there isn't, but I would love a relic. That would let me use spirits for spending the night. There's idea right there. I'm giving it to you. <laughs> okay. Two burn. If I deal four, that's not enough. There's blue scroll and I can go on a rampage. I will go to scroll. But the drown enemies get frost. Okay. None of these can die. Yeah. Maybe only this one would die if I use my provision. Which is kinda bad. I go to apple and root and provision. Kill goblin. Or no, actually. Yeah, he will have one less health. That's good. And blue scroll later. I spend the night for free. Ah. Huh. Psycho apple root. Kill goblin. Spend the night for free. And uh, burn happens. I don't use any provision. Hell yeah. Okay, let's go. I want to kill stone golem. He takes two damage. But also gains HP, so he deals more damage to me. 
I want to kill that one as soon as possible. But killing him with blue scroll would be more amazing. This is like the weakest enemy I would say. Because it has low low HP so it deals less hate less damage. Yeah. If I had anyone else in here, I think it'll be worse. I have stone golem here, it's good. I want to kill him with frost. I keep golem here. Blue scroll fall down, I forgot. <laughs> okay. But I think it's fine still. What now? Deal damage to boon enemy. And spend night. Yeah. So I get more spirits. Alright. Alright, this one got frost. Nice, okay. Which way do I wanna go? I think frost gives also for sure, every time. Now this has 5 frost, amazing. If I go here, then I would probably go to Gizotso. Okay, hear, hear me out. I have to go down to kill Passender. If that Frost goes to Gizotso, I have to go to him. And I can go like this. And then this one will have so much Frost, it should be good enough. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah exactly, he got frost, so I want to kill him. And now this has uh, 12, and I can probably just spend the night. Nice. Okay, this got burn. If Bassender dies, this is big cute, okay. I'll just move to Stone Golem. Do I want to deal damage? Not really. Maybe just Basajan. So he burns, yeah. I don't have provision, okay. I don't want to kill him really. I cannot even do it. So kill Golem. <laughs> of course Griffin got Frost, okay. I like to kill Basajan already. If I kill both of these, I take 9 damage and then 4, which is 13, and I might die. So I rather make Basajun take damage. Do I want to be closer to Basajun? No. I'll go to Shard and spend night. Alright. Now there's a lot of enemies I see. Oh god, this is insane. Huh. I go here. And I take additional 3 damage. If I go here, I don't die. But then I cannot kill Griffin. Even if I kill Griffin, I just get nothing really. Yeah. I have to track back my steps. I can just kill Goblin. Alter fall down, that's bad actually. Oh god, <laughs> okay. If I go up, I cannot go to Alter. And if I spend night, I die. So go to Alter already. Alright. Holy Leaf, yes please. Now equipment. Inflict 4 burn to adjacent enemies. Triggers chain reaction on their adjacent enemies. What is chain reaction? Chain, here is keyword, hell yeah. Enemies apply the effect to their adjacent enemies. So when there was a relic about chaining kills or something. How can I chain apply adjacent enemies? What? 
That's weird. That explosion seems good. Flower of life. Yeah, this got luck. And they have affinity burn and heal. Nice. Flower of fire. Heal 2 HP, inflict 2 burn to enemies around me. What is better? Heal 2 and burn 2 or burn 2 and adjacent? I think adjacent is much better. Now, what is fire X? Inflict 2 burn to... Inflict 2 burn and 2 damage to all enemies in play. Okay. That is actually epic. You see what I did there? Epic, epic rarity, yeah, <laughs> okay. What is better, explosion or X? I deal damage. If enemies have bleed, it's even better. It happens to all enemies. Or explosion. I think explosion is better because there might be some times there won't be any enemy or just one or just two less or very low amount of enemies here so i'll rather burn more i'll rather inflict more burn now adjacent is what adjacent oh just my closest i guess okay but that's good anyway at the best i can Inflict 12 burn and also chain, okay. That's good, yeah. I just have to think about good chain and that's it. If I get a good chain, I get so much burn, it's crazy. With Fire X, I don't have to think about position, but it deals less burn. So I'll rather do Explosion Potion. Alright. Oh, wait. Now I can see why using spirits as reroll is good. Because I have so much spirits already. Okay. Let's use the card. Where? Where do I want it? I want blue scroll always. I also want explosion. What do I want first? I don't want explosion first because there might not spawn too many enemies. Fireball is just good. Starting on fireball is great. Then every enemy will die and that every enemy will be replaced. So second I want another explosion for sure, hell yeah. And heal later. Don't need apple at this point. Go like this. Yeah. Explosion. Just burn, burn. Heal. Why? I will probably not take any damage. I might use my ability. So. I will not take damage. Do I need more apple? At first, I think yeah, but I might be in bad position anyway, so I'll like, I like this heal here. This good right there. Now, this cleared zone. Where am I? Oh, I'm right here at the, okay, I'm right here. This danger zone and this is unknown, okay. It might be the boss actually. Okay. Right now I got item, so next I get a relic. Let's see what merchant does. Plus one to selected card. What do I want to have plus one? Blue scroll. I can just more easily work with frost. I am born frost build. Amazing. Okay. Or, Erge Alter, 24, okay. Pay at the center of Alter. I want to do it later. Let's get a Relic first. A 
up here, merchant. Okay, 22. I have enough to buy feather. Feather is good. Or reroll. If I reroll, I might not get anything good, really. Just feather is good. I like feather. But if I do feather, then I cannot increase one value. Do I rather be able to move by using provision? Or have better chance of actually using frost? I think using frost might be better. But if I kill all enemies in two turns by burn, then I draw enemies. So I want scroll to be sooner to me actually. So I spend night for free, enemy takes the explosive burn damage. They die, I draw enemies, and those draw enemies will have frost. But only one frost. I need enemy to spawn right beside me. But I apply two frost because I apply double. But either way, when enemy doesn't spawn next to me or somewhere, it is bad. So I actually would like to have better chance of using the frost. And I apply 4 Frost, which makes other enemies be able to be killed and transfer that Frost. Because normally I would be able to just kill one enemy and uh, other ones far away would lose Frost. So if I get more value, it is really good. So this is basically double value, because I apply more frost. Okay, I'm gonna get blue scroll for sure. Now I don't have enough. 32, okay, cool. Imagine if it would scale. I would love if value would scale also the cost, but I want cost to be less. Come on, this is too much, I think. If I just could transfer my spirit into cold, that could be amazing. Okay, now altar. Erge's altar lets you enhance your cards with talisman. Now, that's amazing. I'm really excited. By paying the cost in spirits, you receive the following talismans. I just got them. What? <laughs> I, I just got them all. I don't have to pay for them. That's cool. Start by choosing a card from your deck to enhance. Talisman of Metamorphosis. Change a random non-boss enemy with a card from your deck. gives six shield what if i get card that triggers itself multiple times then talisman will be crazy in fact three burn to all enemies okay come on i will probably use talisman of fire but on who how does knife work triggered three times does the whole knife get triggered? Or what? If the whole knife effects get triggered, then I want to burn on it. Thousand on fire. But I will probably not use knife, no, come on. But I would get even more burn. Burn is amazing. Do I need heal? Yeah, after I use all my frost, yeah, like this, exactly. Heal very much later. Explode. Enemies die to burn. Next, they 
get more burn and I spend night for free so they already die. And then I go and kill some enemies. Get apple, heal and that's it. What would I like to get more burn? Blue scroll. I wonder if I apply the burn first and then spend night. That could be amazing. Yeah. I don't feel like I need more burn on this. I just want burn on blue scroll. Let's go. Drag and drop a talisman onto the card to apply its effect. Talisman of fire. All enemies in play. Should be insane. Now change a random numbers enemy with a card from your deck. I don't know where do I want to put this. I don't want on blue scroll because I want to kill enemies already. I want to burn enemies. So if I change the enemy, it's uh, it's one less of five spirits. Gives a six shield. Six shield on blue scroll. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. I get a lot of shield and uh, possibly... Six frosted enemies will not deal any health damage to me. That's good. Now, Talisman of Metamorphosis. Change non-boss enemy with card. I don't really need it. I will use it later. Maybe I'll go back there and get it later. I don't have any really good use for it. Because I just want one good card which I would use lastly. So if I use the lastly then I would change a card. I mean enemy to a card. Okay. Merchant. I already did this, okay. Now, oh the secret. Relic chest, yo! A reroll costs spirit rather than gold. You spend night using gold instead of provision. Wait. What if I don't have enough gold? I cannot spend night. <laughs> okay. Golden ring, spirit cards also give gold. Okay. Okay. Reroll with spirits. Yeah, I have too much spirits, I have to use them. So this is the... Synergy I'm talking about. Spirit cards also give gold. But... Burn the tail doesn't give me spirit card, it just gives me spirit. So I don't get gold from it. Which I don't like, that it doesn't work like that. Because clear clearly, this relic is supposed to give me gold when I collect spirit. But I also collect by burned tail. If I could get gold from any spirits gained, or it would at least should work with Boon Tail, I think. I would love that. Spirit cards. It is a card, and card is right here at the top. I'll get a drilled coin. Now, what can I reroll? Nothing right now. So, after Danger Zone, I will reroll. Now, this is gonna be amazing. Explode. It's not... It's not really good explode, right? 
I have all my cards already in here. Okay. Fireball, five burn. Wait, how is it increased? Was it always five? Huh, interesting. Wait, use plus one to equipment. I see. Amazing, hell yeah. So blue score is now three. That's awesome, hell yeah, okay. Fireball. Also, root has plus one. I get two HP for each empty space. That's amazing, I love that. These are seven, 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 okay. I can just spend the night already. Or kill Griffin. Let him take damage. And then I explode him for more spirits, yeah. Just spend the night already. Amazing. Now I want more explosion. Adjacent enemies. Chain. I need to chain. I need enemy to be right here. Oh god, come on. Let's move up, spend night and hopefully get enemy here. All these enemies get burned. I need more burn on them. Trigger chain reaction. I just need enemy to connect with everyone, come on. Or just burn this guy and that's it. Yeah. Oh, huh, okay, I'll, I'll just use it. Or I can wait and kill enemies when there's altar. Huh. Okay. Okay, I see. But ha uh, I have to go to spirit. Spend night, then I get some enemies here. Okay. Now I have a decision to make. Explode just Basajin. Or wait for enemy. I can go for Apple. And blue scroll, spirit falls. And I get some enemies already. But then my journey with frosting enemies will start. So when enemy is frosted, then I guess I wanna keep explosion anyway. Yeah. I can burn enemy right now. Oh yeah. Wait, I can spend spirits finally. I can spend spirits. Hell yeah, okay. If I move here, he's gonna fall down. If I move up, I can deal damage and burn enemies and get more spirits and activate more lateral shots. Okay. Amazing. Now these all give me spirit. Spend the night. Amazing. Now... I would like to connect. I would have to go on a long journey. I probably have to kill these enemies already. I can spend my shots. I want to kill Gizotso. But if I burn him, he's gonna deal less scratch. But I have to get rid of wood, so there's enemy adjacent, okay. Spirit heals me, nice. Now I want to go here. And do shots. If I do blue scroll, it's good enough. Can I use my shots enough so stone golem dies? Yeah, yeah. 
I deal 8 damage, enemy has 1 HP, booms, easy. Okay. Heal kinda wasted, but it's fine. Alright. And again. Medicinal herb, amazing. I'll just kill Stone Golem, go to corner, and spend night. Alright. Now I have to connect enemies. Okay, how can I do this? I need to go to blue scroll already. But I would like to burn enemies. But I'm not gonna burn enough. If... Basender. I don't see any Basender. I could just go through Beckyut and Blue Scroll. But I want more slots. But then I then I don't heal and I don't have enough provisions. Now enemy doesn't give me a loot. So I will probably just keep keep being damaged. So, I probably want to clear everyone and then root to get some health and continue further, okay. And here is root already. I don't want to use root. So I'll kill both of these. I'll be on 3 HP but get blue scroll. Kill enemies with shield and then root. And eventually use explosion. Alright, but I take 4 damage. I spent for free. Okay. Equipment cards have plus 1. Even votive shard has plus 1. I think it should say every allied card. Not equipment, because equipment seems like all of my deck cards or damaging cards. But it really is just for everything allied. Okay. Can I do blue scroll? Spend night for free. I don't take damage. Please. Don't take damage. What if I use ability? Vice, again. Stone Golem will burn. Increase cost by one spirit. I will use 14 and 15. That's 29. I get. I lose a lot of spirits. Okay. But I don't deal damage because I'm not healthy. Okay. Okay, I see. Let's do blue scroll. Now, they got 6 frost even, yeah because yeah it's 1 plus, okay, okay, wait what is this, um, revenge is showing, why, when I hover around the play area, there is description of revenge and Basajin. Oh god. That's weird, okay. Um I want to root because I don't kill enemies then. I want to root when I have enough. Wood and kill Gizatsu. Might as well use shots but I don't want to kill goblin I want to get that if I use shots I want to shot just stone golem but he still doesn't die so it doesn't really matter well it matters because if I shot here I kill goblin okay 
let's go up. Bleed, extra damage. I have shield, it should be fine. Good, okay. Now, shard. And I would like to do lateral shot. Or I can just kill stone golem. But I take more damage from bleed. I need to kill enemy already. If I do damage, I take two damage and then I can deal only one. If I deal only one, I just get rid of this, okay. So I want the lateral shot right now. Now I want to deal damage. But then I'm literally on 1 HP and I probably die. But there's a root. I deal damage once. Not twice, because then I die. So then I have to root or spend the night. If I spend night, I take damage. But there is a root. So if I go to root, I heal what? I heal 4. Kill Bassender. I have to take damage twice again. Go to shard and root again. Okay. But I could burn Bassender. If I go to right and use shots. Then Bassender will burn, okay. Let's do this. I have shield, I forgot, okay. So let this guy burn. Now, I just need to deal damage to Bassender. Do I use my one shield for Bassender to burn him? Or use shots for just one death, but this will also die. I also want to get the root. I need a lot of root. If I go here, root goes down and then I go then I can double root. That's good, hell yeah. So shard. Deal damage. He's gonna die from burn. I root and root and wood. Spend the night. Nice. I have 40 spirits. Now, a lot of enemies. Imagine if those were connected. Come on. How long does chain work? Apply effect to ages and enemies and so on. Chain is infinite. Oh my god. I need enemy to be connected to explosion. Where is frost? Where is frost? Wait, what? Oh! Enemies with, with frost died from burn. Every enemy died from burn, so no enemy was available for frost. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so now I don't have any frost. Let's kill some enemies. Wait. I have idea. Go to spirit. Go back. And explosion. I think explosion will happen first, then falling the gravity of steep slopes. I want to do lateral shot again. Can I do it? Probably, yeah. Just here. This won't die, but passenger will die. But this one will get more HP. 
So I want to do lateral shot on him. Oh, that's good. Move completely to the goblin and lateral shot. Yeah. Okay. I take 6 damage though, okay. Keep that in mind. I also deal damage to column. Alright. This burn and I get more spirits. Spend the night. Now, I could use shots again and burn them. I want to explode enemies. That is really hard to do. I have to kill Gizotso without taking damage. I can spend shots two times. If I do it here and on Gizotso, it's pretty fine. So then, this will still be alive. Gizotso dies, I go up and move down. So I don't want Golem. He will move and I can burn everyone. Wait, I have a plan, but I take damage. I take 7 damage, I need to heal. I have spirit, okay. Phew, okay. I need to take 0 damage. This is the way. They want to move? No. Just go here. Get spirit. Now. If I do explosion, it might not work. If I do shots again, I forgot, I just kill these, so it's not useful. I want to burn them. For the sake of experiment, I can just go to potion and see what happens. Yeah, nothing happened. Okay, <laughs> okay. Damn. Alright. I want to spend night and then kill enemies. Do I want to go up? No. Because if enemies will be unbeatable, I might as well go straight to altar. So take damage. Burn and got spirits. Now I can do lateral shot one last time. Kill a good amount of enemies and then I have to go out. I have to go out. I kill these, I have 3 HP. I can drop down altar. Okay, two shots. If I go here, altar falls. What about golem? I cannot kill golem. I can go to shard, coin and altar. Okay. Okay. 16 value. Let's go. Holy leaf, yes please. But let's read how luck works. Maybe I can uh, use it somehow. Your relics and active cards increase your affinity. So I need good active cards. So yeah, freeze and explosion and burn. That's cool. So my affinity is good burn. There's also heals, bad night. Provision less, gold less, okay. Okay, yeah, heal for sure. How about medicinal herb? How does herb change my deck? If I don't do provision, I need provision. Or just really good heal, okay. I need really good heal. So if I do this... I have 20% heal. 27 burn. 
Okay, wait. And now I have provision stat. When I have provision stat, all 100% is distributed to all affinities. I want to have least amount of good affinities. So I'll go like this. Now what is else here? Spirit good gold. Where is gold? From where is there gold? Come on. That's weird, okay. So I'll go to relic with this deck. To have good chances of almost everything. Frost, burn, heal, spirit, amazing. Equipment chest. Yeah. Alright, whetstone, it's too late for this. Generates 6 healing cards on empty spaces. Amazing. Ring of Izavit. Infect 3 poison and 3 bleed to all enemies in play. I'll rather get healing cards. With this I can continue on killing and burning enemies. I can continue through votive altar. It's really good. It is just good. Love that. Now deck, I got one more card. So, do I need herb? No. This is great. Alright. Amazing. Now, this is end of expedition. Secret zone. Oh. I can move through map instantly. That's so good, hell yeah. Okay. If I had the gold... Imagine if I increased the Ring of Bellissima. That would be even better, right? But I didn't think about it and just freeze was good enough. Okay. Alter. Okay. Metamorphosis. Change non-enemy boss with a card from my deck. I generate card from my deck. That is crazy. What if I use Belly Sama and generate card from deck? Yeah. Give Metamorphosis on Ring of Belly Sama. Nice. Now, Merchant, I can't buy anything. Yeah. So I can go to end of expedition. Can I click on it? No, okay, I have to click by arrow. That's cool. In search of Akohan, completed. Here he is. Ako. We were afraid you wouldn't make it. How are you? You look... Atania, Zoe, don't come any closer. By all the gods, no, here she is. Pyrene. So that's the name of the game, okay. <laughs> Wretches. I know what you've come to do on Herensurge's land. I will not let that happen. Defeat Pyrene. Defeat Pyrene for the monolith to appear. Oh god, okay, what is this? Gains one attack after taking damage. Four attack. Oh! Oh! I actually just have to burn her. I have freeze! I have freeze! Yes! Oh my god, I have freeze! Thank god I bring freeze against 35 health. Oh my god. Oh, that's such a relief. I can I could actually kill this boss. Let's think about this. Oh my god. Fireball. 
I want to kill enemies and then fireball. Or if I fireball, I can get spirits and they use shots. Okay. If I go down, fireball falls down. Alright. I would like to kill stone golem. Okay. Yeah, kill golem. Move. Get fireball. Get wood and wood. Now these all burn. I wonder if fly will happen. At night moves one space. And the burn is... How does it say? Takes damage when I spend the night. So I spend the night. But at night he's gonna move. That's interesting. We'll see how that works. I have blue scroll right next to Pyrene. That's amazing. Okay. Everything burned. Okay. She moved. Wait, elusive. I see elusive keyboard, but I cannot see it because it's covered by Pyrene. Okay. Uh, change position after taking damage. Okay. That's fine. I could just explode her already. Ring of Bellissima, okay. This is crazy. I think <laughs> I could spend 30 minutes in here. I would like to burn Bassender. But this guy will might I might as well die. How about I just burn everyone? I go to root, go for healing, explode. I want to explode Pyrene. Or not. Wait. I kill a lot of enemies with Bruce Blue Scroll. I get insane amount of frost. And then it will go to Pyrene. She will have a lot of frost. And then I can damage her, but she's gonna deal 5 damage every time. That is the damage. So I will eventually use Ring of Belisama to heal and kill her. Okay. <sighs> okay, damn. A lot of thinking. What if I just do explosion right now? It might as well be good, a good idea, yeah. What if I go up wood? Potion is gonna fall completely down. Okay. Just apply explosion already. And keep blue scroll still here. Good burn right there. Nice, amazing. Spend the night. A lot of spirits. Pyrene has 6 damage, oh god. Okay. There's a lot of big cutes. Passageron. If Passender. Passender is this one, okay. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be crazy, I think. Freeze, frost. Wait! Wait! Frost reduces attack exactly to one damage. Oh my god, okay. I want to go to blue scroll already. Everyone will gain HP, but... Oh, I need to clear everyone and then spend night. So I actually get frost. Oh my god. I should have 
Spend the night when everyone was burning. Oh, come on. Okay. I don't want to do lateral shot. Because it just increases damage. But I mean... Nah, just do it. This looks fine, actually. Now I can move. But where? Down. Or what? Um, yeah, down, spirit. No, just down and blue scroll. I need to clear everyone. Move down and lateral shot. No, go down, go to root and lateral. But it's gonna burn, and even this one. What if I just spend night? I cannot. I have to kill one of them. Let's go up, root, Bassender. It is what? Bassender. Oh god, okay. But I have a blue scroll. I need to clear everyone. Burn will happen. If I do lateral on this one, he will die. So I get more frost. Okay. Okay. I need to just clear everything. And I have to kill Bassender after. Because he will get HP and that's too much. I cannot do twice spirit. I can do only spirit once. Yeah, I'm a lot of thinking. But it inflicts burn. Wait. That is good, actually. I go to middle. He is shot. He'll be killable. I do blue scroll. He'll be low HP and burn. And I get shield. And I can go to spirit root and blue scroll. Okay. That's my plan. Alright. Let's go. Lateral shot. Spirit. Root will be kinda wasted. But I need more space for more frost. More frost is just amazing. But the root is just good. But I have to kill everyone by myself. There will always be monsters. It's not like Pyrene will be the only monster here. There's always gonna be monsters. And I'm always... I should always have frost. Okay. So I want more monsters to have more frost. So if Frost transfers to Pyrene, then I have to just kill her. I just need more targets of Frost. More targets I get if I clear everything. So Spirit, Root, Blue Scroll. Burn happens after, okay. Damn, I should have think about that. But it's fine still, I guess. So enemies have four frost. Alright. Now I should start killing everyone. I can do lateral shot. I go up, kill goblin, root, bassender. Probably Basajin. Yeah, okay. If I move here, he will fall down. And I will keep Root. I kill this and the Root will fall down. So I can choose to heal. But then I cannot go down. Okay. I go to left and root, I can not go down. I have to go to root from up. If I go to the right, this will fall down and I cannot get root. But I have shield. 
I don't need to get root. So. Kill Griffin to already apply frost. Don't move. Apply frost already because otherwise frost is decreased. Alright, this one has 8. Now, Spirit. Now, Gizotso. Goblin. Alright. Pyrene got 2. This has 4. Okay, I'm, I'm losing Frost. Now, how can I move? I will probably use Rings of... Palesima. I will move, kill Basajin, kill Basender. He will probably have freeze. Yeah. All right. No, Pyrin is stacking freeze. Come on. I have herb. All right. This one got freeze. I have to kill enemy with freeze. I have to kill this guy. One, two, three. I can do it for sure. Okay. I have to use rings of Bellissima then. I need six spaces. One, two, three, four. Five. But he will have just one freeze and that is bad actually. I need to kill this enemy as fast as possible. So I can go down or up. I think I'll go up to not waste healing herb. So here. And now. I want... I want to deal damage to Pyrene. Because then she might not get Frost. Frost is very essential for me. I want Wood, because if I go to Rings, then Pyrene is close to me. Okay, amazing. Wood, Rings. Oh, also here. It's a root, okay. Wait, what? It created itself. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, it created itself. I love that. Because I have the talisman there. Yeah. Wait. I have to deal damage already to Pyrene. Wait. I lost my frost. Why? I killed this guy already. He changed him, no! <laughs> okay, that's funny. A ring changed the guy with frost. So now I cannot do more frost. And I probably die to Pyrene. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Root. I need to get close to her. Now I can attack or or do lateral shot. If I do shot, it's probably an action, right? And she gains more damage. So let's see how freeze works. I literally took just one damage. That's amazing. And Pyrene is about to die. I cannot attack her though. I cannot yet attack her. She's just getting more damage. I need to damage her somehow. My max HP is not enough. Okay. Alright. If I attack her, I just die. It's 18 damage. 
So, lateral shot. Is that enough to burn enemies? If I burn both of these, I get 10. If I get 10, I can do shots again. Yes! It's 4. It's 6. Oh, it's not quite enough. Come on. Okay, it's not quite enough. Come on. I have to burn one more enemy. Please, come on. I... By one damage. I deal four. Enemy will have three and four. That's basically seven. Wait, really? No, it's four. It's three and three. It's six. It's not enough burn. I can burn only be cute. And that amount of spirits is not enough. Let's lateral shot. Or what? Because mm. I really want to hit her. I want to kill Stone Golem. He's not gonna die. But he will have very low HP. Okay. But if I spend Knight, I take more damage. They switched, okay. Do I rather kill him? Or make him have... Take two actual damage. He will have one HP, but get one more. Okay. Wait, I can kill Pyrene. She's gonna do 15 damage, I have 17. Health. Huh. But burn is even better. If I burn her, she's gonna deal 10 damage, but have 3 HP. So I have to spend night anyway. Let's spend the night. Okay. But she got HP anyway, okay. Now I have to kill her. Okay. 10 damage and 4. 14, I have 16. Spirit. And Pyrene. Alright, Monolith. Strange monolith that lights up when you approach it. Huh. Let's keep going. <laughs> but don't die. Imagine if I die <laughs> if I keep going. Oh god. Okay. Go here. Spirit. I have to go back. Okay. What if I spend night? I want to kill Basajan. So, go here. But enemies will spawn, right? I need to have part of not enemies. If I go up, grapes will fall. That is good enough. I don't heal much from this though. Huh. Root, root, and root and root. No, that's too much. Just kill Basajun. Where do I go though? If I go down and kill him and then move to him, I have a root and a path. If I go here and kill him, I go for a herb, 
and the root will fall down. I use her root and the root and nice. Okay. Cool. Go up. I mean left. Kill a passagen. He got health. Okay, that's fine. Heal. Heal. Now, is this enough? I need to heal more. Root. I have full health already. Root. Grapes. Gold coin. Rings of Bellissima. And what did I create? Ring of Bellissima. Wasn't it supposed to create itself or something from my deck at least? No, it just gave me heal. Heal 8 if I have 50 or less health. Heal and burn. Gives 2 dodge and heal 3 or 2 times. Burn, burn. Generate healing cards, okay. I don't want to go to Monolith yet. Let's spend the night. And there are enemies. If I go to... Oh my god, I should have used the rings. Now it's wasted. Oh my god, okay. Well, whatever. Oh, it generated flower. That's cool. Inflict enemies around you. Yes, please. Now, what? I would like another flower of life. So, possibly poor and passender. Nice, he got. Around you. That's uh, in uh, four directions. No, eight, okay. Okay. Invisibility. I guess I don't need it. Yeah, I can just spend the night, right now, let's go. But why am I doing this? To get more spirits, to get higher score and get more something maybe, okay, we'll see. I'm just doing this for higher score. Okay. Now, I need to apply more burn. Invisibility. 4 dodge. Last 4 moves. Just kill these guys, I guess. Alright. Kill Gizotso. And might as well kill Stone Golem. Now. Spirit, Spirit, Gold, Goblin. I'm gonna take more damage. I could just use Lateral Shot. If I go right, left, right. Up. To kill Golem, go in his place. It's kinda bad. I want to go up and do shots. And go down to Monolith, yeah. Which way do I go? I want a path. Or just get spirit. Yeah, get spirit. It heals me. It's good. Up. Right. Up. Do Passender. Medical herb. Nice. Explosion. No. I can do now lateral shot. Kill this. Get coins. And now I would take 7 damage. Alright. Heals 4 and infinite burn. I'm gonna stay here and spend night. Now can I do something here? I don't think so. I die everywhere. But, I could go for coin, then spirit, and then flower to inflict burn on passaging. And then I cannot do anything else. 
Okay, let's go here. And here. Flower. Okay. I will die, so... I need to go to Monolith, finally. Victory! Score 66. I wonder if, when it would be 100. If it can ever be 100 score. I would say it could be. Let's continue. 34 wood. Hell yeah, a really good run. We have stats. Relics and all that, cool. Score. Victory bonus, biome explored. Danger zone cleared. Average value of altars. Oh, if I keep doing altar, I get more score. Okay. Holy card acquired, 8. Damage inflicted, 5. So for each 100, I guess, it is plus 5, good. And wood collected, plus 3. Why plus 3? Oh, because per turn wood, I get 3. Okay, I love this math. This math is cool. But why is this 13? Double of average, right? 6.4 doubled is 12.8. And rounded up, it's 13. Okay, I see, I see. And the biomes explored are times 3 for 9. Okay. Good math, really good math. And here are more statistics, okay. I healed 282 health. I lost 524 health. <laughs> okay. What is the biggest number here? Just HP lost. No, damage inflicted, okay. I inflicted... 6 more damage than I lost HP. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, back to the village. Golden Ear. When you receive gold, I also heal 1 HP. It's just 1 HP. Come on, it's Y1. What if I receive gold, I receive as much HP? That would be crazy, come on, please. That would be really cool, okay. That's fine, it's pretty good anyway. Wheat field. I'll go back there later, we'll see what that does. Matilda. My Belisama, Akohan. You're alive and well. I only got out of there thanks to Atania. I managed to escape from that monster once, but if you hadn't arrived in time to fight her, all I could do was wound her. This Pyrene is much more powerful than other monsters. It won't be long before she attacks again. She didn't die? It won't be long before she attacks again. Didn't I kill her? What? <laughs> what happened here? Okay. It's probably their leader. If you can figure out how to defeat her, we might be able to wipe out the other monsters once and for all. You're right. I'll try to find out more about her. And yes, don't worry. I'll be careful. As for me, I think I'll go and have a bit of rest in the tavern. Well, what's left of it? Atania, come and see me if you want to be replaced on your next expedition, okay? If you want to be replaced, he can go to expedition? I can play as him. Okay, that's what I guess. New quest facing Pyrene. What did I just did? <laughs> Didn't I already face Pyrene? Okay. Forge. It's locked from demo. Okay. But I can go to tavern. Let's add wood. Tavern. Tavern rebuild. 
New characters. You can now change your playable character at the tavern. Akohan, the village priest and father of Lanoe, he to do anything to protect them. He and his little Armine Zoe are inseparable. Unavailable in demo. There is a lot of characters, wow. And this is a wolf. I think that that one is gonna be really interesting. Wolf character. Alright. Let's keep going with Atania. Now how much wood I have? 24. I didn't increase talent points. Huh. How can I increase talent point? How? How can I increase it? Mountain. A mountain with steep winding paths. I can go straight to the mountain? That's crazy. Zoe, what are you doing here? Cree cree cree. Oh. Cree cree cree. Cree cree cree. Cree cree cree. -cree. Okay, 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 I'll stop. <laughs> okay. It didn't increase, come on. I would like to increase talent point already. Maybe I'll I can do it later. Okay. Maybe from forge or stuff like that. Yeah. But now what do I have? Tavern? Market Square Cartography Workshop I could upgrade Cartography Which is Workshop Yeah Cartography Workshop, okay I'll upgrade it, I will be left with 3 wood Alright oh, It's kinda lagging the animation lags. When I click a lot, only like four will appear of logs. Yeah. Yeah, two of them appeared right away. Okay, workshop. Continue. Victory conditions. Oh. I see. Dangerous zones now have various victory conditions. I should have not done that, right? <laughs> I cannot disable it. <laughs> okay. Thorny wine. Enemy appear with three turns and 33% have the passive spines. Spines. Inflict turns to its enemy. The value of turns is equal to the amount of damage inflicted. Oh, I see. Well, that's kind of bad. Unveiled potential. Special power cost one provision. Yes, please. What? What about the relic? Wait, it's not the relic? No, it's this still. Okay. Blood moon. I have that. I'd gain 3 HP. Yeah. I'll not do that. Warning. Status. Double value. Warning. Cool. I mean, I don't really want to burn because I want to apply burn and then damage enemies so they can burn correctly. So... I can get spirits from the relic I got. Exhaustion. Yes, please. Night, dead, amazing. They have sentinel, no, okay. Okay, this is fine, and there's more unlocks. Scale stone, okay. Saber, I got it already. After attacking, deal one damage to all enemies, amazing. Gives plus 4 to votive altars. Yeah, I got that already. Nice. Okay. 
I'm just missing some, like six, I guess. Yeah. All right, cool. Very cool. Okay. Watchtower. All right. I'll go to these lands later. And I'll try to play with Akohan in the next video. I'm gonna end this video right here. I've been recording for 3 hours and almost uh, 30 minutes. I really enjoyed this game. I really enjoyed this one. I finally got a pretty good build. A lot of burning and uh, Frost was amazing against the final boss, it was really good. I got lots of healing from the healing ring. It was pretty amazing. I unlocked a bunch of stuff, I got a lot of wood. Yeah, and barn just gives me my score, okay. What is wheat field? Nothing yet. Okay, that's fine. All right. All right, I'll end this here. I hope y'all enjoyed this uh, video just as much as I did enjoy the gameplay. If you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. I am pretty sure I will play this game more. If you like this kind of game, be sure to wishlist it on Steam. And yeah, I am Metres. I'll see you next time.